Hi, welcome to Wiki Tiki and Cash and Work. This is Venkat here. Today I'm, I'm going to talk about the great area. The bug versus defect versus error versus fault versus failure. So this is the area we are going to discuss. And before that we should understand the, what are the kind of defects available in software development, how it occurs, at what stage it is occurring. So that is the one we are going to talk about now. Okay, so over here, as I told you, like you got your software testing. The software testing, you got errors. So, sir, I'm doing something, sir, I got an error, sir. I'm developing something, I got an error. From that, due to the errors, the defect will happen. The defect or fault will happen. So, because of that, you got the failure of the system. So, this is how the problem occurs. This is the step-by-step -step problem occurs. So, the error in the sense like, sir, while doing coding, while developing a product, I could understand the requirement, I developed something wrong then it is called as an error or the mistake and it can be found by the developer itself whereas it leads to the defect the problem the bug or fault so maybe like it is it is found by the tester hey this is a problem in this device man in the software man so that is called as defect and finally it is because of the defect you got the network is failure the software is failed the system is not responding and it becomes a failure model Okay, so in this area, in this stage, the developer will find it. In this stage, you got the tester will be finding it, and failure, find the customer will be finding it. So obviously, the result is either the pass or fail of the system. Okay, that is how your software development is tested. Okay, so if you start thinking about like what kind of defects are happening, so majorly this is how the classification is. So you got the first one is error. The other one is bug. These are the key terminologies which every tester will be selling. Error, bug, defects, fault and failure. So these are the five areas we are going to discuss now. So okay, let's move on to the part two of area like uh, what is these things. Okay, like, uh, I will show you some of my best articles on software testing. Completely interview based like, articles I have written. Just note it on. So, like, what you can do is, like, just go to this link, uh, kashuinfotech.com slash software iPhone testing iPhone training in Chennai. I'll put this link in the description and in the first comment. Just go to this link, click it, and you can see all the articles and everything. Yes, go to this link. Uh, just scroll down, scroll down. You are able to see the software interview, software testing interview questions here, ask pictures. And what are the areas I can study in software testing and see it here? Just scroll down, you are able to see some of the links over here. Software testing tutorial, software testing interview questions. And resume. So testing lifecycle, verifications, types of software testing, software testing metrics, AP testing, mutation testing, download free software testing resume. So software testing tools and test analysis resume. Software test cell roles and responsibility, how to write the test case in software. You got a lot of things, man. Okay, so I'll take one link over here. I'll take another link over here. Okay, so this is the one we are going to look into. Software testing. And over here, the resume is getting loaded. So this is your software testing resume samples. Just go and watch it. Software testing resume samples are here. Okay, and over here, what is software testing? So these are the articles interview based articles i've written okay personally i've written these articles and it is getting loaded just hold on a minute yes what is software testing so you got the pictures and everything why to learn software testing attributes of software testing applications of software testing so over here you got software testing life cycle types of software testing. you got a lot of things are here so i'll take uh, some of the link and show you types of software testing i click this one so these are fantastic articles i've written you will enjoy this article. Okay, so I got some ads here. Okay, if you click about these types of software testing, so you can see what are the types of software testing available, manual testing, classification manual testing, white box testing. So you got your black box testing, type of black box testing, everything is here, everything is here. You can enjoy this one. And these are some of the big articles I have written and defect versus bug versus error. This article is available here. <laughs> You can you can uh, uh, click that article and you can learn as much as you can. I put everything over here. Okay, so look for you. I'm clicking it. 
defect versus error versus bug versus error so what i've discussed here everything is here you can check it out okay just go and check it out and get a comparison Yeah, once again, like welcome to WikiTiki and Kashu Infotech. So now we are going to talk about the step-by-step -step problems happened, occurred in the software development areas. Okay, so at each stage, because of the human errors or because of some basic issues, we'll be facing a lot of problems. And we are going to discuss in detail, like what are the problems we are facing as a software tester or software developer. Okay, so there are varieties of errors happen in each and every stage. Sir, once I am starting getting the requirement, sir, there may be an error there. Once there is a design happening, there may be an error. Once there is a development happening, there may be an error. Everything is finished, I am going to test it, there may be an error. So everything we are going to discuss today from this particular video. So welcome to Kashiv Infotech Company, our company Kashiv Infotech. We are providing internship and courses to the students. An internship in the sense like just go to your company, sir. I got a break, sir. Career break, sir. Just go to your company, learn some technology, build your profile, wire that you can go for a job. That is called as internship. We are providing online and offline internships. You can contact us anytime for any kind of help. Treat me as a brother and contact me. And here is the contact details. So here is my contact numbers to contact me. Sir, I couldn't reach. No problem. You can send a WhatsApp message or you can send an email to me. I'm ready to help you. Sir, I want to talk to you and get details, sir. So here is my Insta account. Click this follow button and you can chat with me. I'm ready to talk to you people. So send a message to me. Okay. So over here, look at to the companies and recruiters. If any of the companies or recruiters look into this video, I request you please share your job description to us. We will give the best candidates to you. So with all your conditions, with all your conditions, we are going to give the best candidates to you. To my subscribers and to my students, sir, career breaks sir, non-IT, degree non come Don't worry, relax. So talk to me. I can help you people. Okay, so talk to me. I can help you. Okay, we need job. I'll surely help you. So anyway, like uh, welcome to Wiki Techie and Kashu Infotech. And this is the area we're going to discuss now. And this particular video is a continuation of, I got many videos of mine. So it's a continuation of my previous videos and you enjoy these videos in my channel. Okay, now let's talk about the basic things. Oh, that's great, man. The colorful things. Yes? Let's move on. Okay, so it's time for me to talk about the main area of this particular video. Okay, the first one is error. Error is nothing but mistake in the coding part, sir. It is found by the developer itself. Sir, I've done some coding that is working, not working, man. That is an error. Whereas the mistakes are nothing but understanding it is the problem once again it is because of the developer and found by the developer itself understanding is a problem the next one is called as defect defect in the sense like sir the requirement is different and uh, the functionality is different sir that is called as defects and the other one is fault fault is nothing but the state is wrong i have expected this one but it's not there so it is in an unstable state sir and uh, the bug is nothing but uh, it is an informal bug and defects are same only and these are found by the tester itself. And finally, you got the failure. If there is an error, because of that, you got the defect and it will lead to the failure of the system. And it is found by the tester or the client. So this is how the classification or the, kind of the problems occurred in developing a product. Okay. So as I told you, sir, I'm developing this mobile, sir. I'm developing this mobile, sir. This mobile development is there, right? This mobile development while developing this one, if I found an error, that is called error, mistake, problem. Sir, understanding the requirement, instead of uh, talking, I'm, I'm found, I've am found done only typing, sir. Then it is a mistake. Okay. And the, the, the client had given like, hey, you want, I want this mobile to talk, man. But it is not like, it is not up to the mark. It is not doing that one. The expected one is not matching. 
then it is, it is nothing but the defect. Okay, sir, the mobile is not getting on, sir. Fault. The state itself is not coming, man. Fault. And bug is nothing but an informal way of defect only. Both are same. It is a bug. It is a bug. The problem. It is not matching the requirement. And finally, it is whether this mobile is used or not. No, it is no no use, man. Then it is a failure model, man. Whatever software I have developed, whatever hardware I have developed, is a failure, man. So this is how the classification of problems arise or classification of problems while creating a software. Okay, let's see in depth on each and everything now. Let's move on to the part three of our like a video. Now let's talk about the concept of bug. As I told you, it is an informal name of it's so name for a defect. What is a defect? Not matching the actual requirement, sir. The, the given requirement and the, the output is not matching, sir. Then it is called as bug or defect. Okay, so if we talk about the types of bugs, here is the classification. One is like a logic bug, sir. So while writing the logic of the program, I made a problem. Sir, for loop, sir, it should work for 10 times, sir, but it is working for 11 times. The logic is wrong. The lesser the number or less than equal to something, you made the mistake. That is called logic bugs. The another one is algorithmic bugs. While implementing the algorithm, sir, instead of like a K means algorithm, I use a, a FIFO algorithm, sir. The algorithm itself is wrong, sir. So you won't get the proper output, man. So that is called algorithmic bug. Next one is a resource bug. Sir, I want, I got an Android mobile, sir. Mobile app is created, but background image is not getting loaded, sir. The resource, uh, the background image resource is not getting loaded. That is called resource bug. So here is, this is how the bugs are classified. So if you talk about reason, why it is happening, man. So why the, the like a bug is happening? Maybe you're missing code or wrong coding or extra coding. It's because of the, the defect or bugs are happening. Okay. So like a, this is how your bugs are. Let's move on to the part 4 area, the types of defects. So before the, like, our company, Kashu Infotech, uh, we are into social networks people. You can join in our Telegram channel. It's an Insta account. And uh, we are into social networks like LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, everywhere. You can contact us via any kind of social networks people. Okay. So you can contact us anytime. And uh, like uh, our company, Kashu Infotech, we, are free, we feel happy and proud to tell you that our students got placed in many companies and uh, like our wishes to each and every one of you people. And there are many companies are asking for candidates from our company. This is one opening like uh, we got for uh, networking candidates, CCNA candidates. And this is one opening for .NET developers. They are looking for uh, uh, candidates from uh, several companies. And uh, Anglo J's requirement is going on. So you can see the dates like uh, three days before, three days before. So .NET and SQL trained candidates the company is looking for. And this company is looking for, uh, once again, .NET trainers. And uh, this is a massive opening on web designing. So these are some of the openings like uh, many companies are looking for from our company. Okay. Now, like uh, you may ask me a question, sir, I need some guidance, sir. How to become a software engineer or a software tester? I need jobs, sir. What I can do? So this is how you can plan it, people. So like uh, go for internships or courses, either online or offline. You will get job for sure, people. Okay, so to so plan this kind of uh, trainings to like uh, build your profile and here is how you can build your profile. Learn software testing and automation testing will get job. Or else, sir, I want to stable my profile, sir. Awesome profile, sir. Start learning an evergreen technology. So start learning an easiest technology. Start learning coding technology and database technology. This is how you can build your profile. Evergreen technology in the sense like web designing. That is evergreen people and easiest technology like software testing, automation testing or networking. Coding technology like .NET or Java or Python and database technology like SQL Server or Oracle or MongoDB. So learn this kind of technologies and build your profile. So any one technology is more than enough people. Awesome. 20,000 to 1 of lakh salary and safest job opportunity people. You will get job for sure. And any degree and any department people can go for job easily people. So try to utilize the opportunity and learn as much as you can. You can contact me at any time. I'm like, why are my numbers? I'm ready to help you. Let's move on to the defects. What is this defect, sir? The difference between the actual outcome and the expected output. Sir, I'm expecting this one, but it is not coming, sir. Then that is called as a defect, people. That is called as defects. Okay, if we talk about the defects, the types of defects, we can classify into 
high uh, priority defects, medium priority defects, and low priority defects. And if you talk about the severity, the impact on the system, okay, priority in the sense like which one you need to do it fast. Sir, login page is not working, sir. Inbox page, that is low priority. Remember, first thing is login page, man. So, login page is your high priority, sir. And this one, like a low priority is your inbox page, sir. Only if this are uh, working, uh, then only you will be going here. Whereas over here, severity in the sense like which one is high severe. So, login is very critical, people. Whereas minor one is help uh, about us. Uh, we don't have any problem, man. Eh? Okay, so based on the seriousness, impact on the business, impact on the business, severity will be classified. So, priority wise, you can classify the defects, or severity wise, you can classify the defects. Critical, major, minor, or trivial uh, defects. That is how you can classify the defects. <clears throat> Let's move on to the error part. If we talk about the errors, sir, as I told you, like error is nothing but uh, I got this is this is like a cre this is uh, this is happening while developing a product. That is why it is called as an errors. Okay, so this is happened for the developers. So here is the types of errors happened. The one thing is like a syntactic error. Sir, I didn't put my semicolon, sir. User interface error. Sir, I missed the text box, sir. Flow control error. From login page, I need to go to inbox, not sent item. Error handling error. If there is any error, whether we are handling that error properly or not. That is called error handling error. The next one is calculation error. Sir, how many days you came? What is the salary? Well, calculating, I made a mistake, sir. Calculation errors. Hardware error. Sir, on clicking this one, the printer should on and print out should come, sir. It is not working, sir. That kind of errors are like a hardware based errors. And testing errors. The testers can make a mistakes. Can make the mistakes. That is called testing, like a testing errors. These are the possible errors. A developer can do it so that they, it won't meet the actual requirement. Okay, that is how the errors are. Okay, and this is the final one we are going to talk about the falls. Falls in the sense like the state of the system is not stable. That is called as a false. Okay, that is called as false. Okay, so I put the same definition. Sorry for that. Okay, anyway, if we talk about the types of falls. So here is the one business logic fault. Sir, this project is not related to the business logic, sir. And maybe a functional and logic false. Okay, functionality wise, it is not satisfying. I made a product. The product is for the like a uh, hotel, but it is not satisfying the hotel, sir. It is satisfying some other business. Okay, then it is called functional. Okay, sir, I need to put the bill. It is not putting the bill, sir. Business logic fault. Sir, it is not putting bill for the hotel, sir. It is putting bill for the shopping plaza, sir. That is another one. Faulty GUI, the use of the the window, the text, the uh, login page, and your uh, uh, this one, like uh, what is it? <clears throat> your inbox page is not working properly, sir. Your your uh, application is working in your com computer, sir. It is not working in your mobile, sir. That is a faulty GUI. Performance false. It is very slow, man. I wanted immediately to book my ticket. It's not happening. Security false. Hackable things. And finally, software and hardware false. So this is working, not working in another computer. Then it's a problem, man. Sir, sir, I developed the product in the computer. It is good. I put it in the client machine. It's not working. That is a hardware false. These are the major faults available. Okay, we should be really careful in testing all these things to make a very good product. People, I hope you enjoy my video. Like I'll meet you people in my next videos. Like uh, our company, Kashi Infotech. We are providing online internships and direct internship at my Chennai office. You can contact me at any time for any kind of help people. And I request you people, please share this video to your friends and everyone and let's spread some good information to everyone and let's transform this society. And it's time for me to say goodbye to you. Thank you. This is Venkat signing off from Wiki, Tiki and Kashi and Product. If any training, contact me at any time. Thank you.